are off to Costco. I'ma show you all what I eat, some tips of kind of the things that I look for. Um, we're going to Costco because this man eats like a dang horse. <laughs> also show you guys a little bit of my meal prep as well. I see lots of food, lots of fun. It's a beautiful day here in Kamloops. Hopefully there's not like 50 bajillion people there. When you're in prep, when you go to Costco, all the samples, they don't count. They don't count as macros. That's what Chris thinks. That's a free tip for you guys. He thinks that like Costco samples are kind of just like free food, that they don't actually count towards your daily caloric intake. Yeah which I'm not entirely sold on that notion yet. We'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, so we'll catch up with you guys at Costco. I'm gonna give you guys an example of the power of marketing and labeling. Organic apple cider vinegar dressing and marinade. So you would think that it's healthy and low calorie when in reality, 60 calories per tablespoon. That is terrible. Make your own dressing, save yourself some calories. In and out in like 15 minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys everything when we get home. A few moments later. What is up guys? I am home from Costco and the gym. I've laid everything out, and what I'm gonna do is show you what I typically get and what I typically eat as well as break them down into three macronutrients, carbs, protein, fats. Let's start with protein. First of all is meat. We get boneless, skinless chicken breasts, extra lean ground turkey, and those are kind of the two main meats that we eat. I also try and eat sirloin steak or salmon as well. Those are really good meat protein sources. I just didn't get any today. I would prefer to buy organic meat because it has less hormones, but I live with a man who eats a lot of meat, so I would spend a lot of money. 0% Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is an amazing source of protein, a casein protein in it. So casein protein is a slower digesting protein that'll help keep you fuller for longer, which we all love. Next up for protein, I got egg whites, super high source of protein, and they also contain zero fat and zero carbs. Talking about quattro, so four protein blend, whey, casein, milk, and egg. It's lactose free, it's gluten free, it is certified kosher, and it is certified nut free. This is the cleanest protein that I've ever had. It does not give me bloat or gas like it does with a lot of other proteins. And the casein factor makes it amazing for baking. So those are where I get most of my protein from. Let's move on to our healthy fats. Whole eggs, of course, are a healthy source of fats and they also contain some protein as well. A lot of people think that eggs are bad for your cholesterol, but eggs actually have good cholesterol in them. I would try and get organic free range eggs. You can tell when they are happy chickens because the eggs yolks are very yellow and bright and that has all ton of vitamins and minerals and nutrients that you want. I like Adams. With your peanut butter or almond butter, always make sure that you read the ingredients on it. Peanuts, that's it, just peanuts. So Chris has not learned this lesson yet and he likes uh, Kraft Smooth Light peanut butter, just peanuts. Selected roasted peanuts, corn, maltodextrin, sugar, soybean oil, salt, hydrogenated vegetable oil, mono and diglycerides. As well with healthy fats, it's very important that you use portion control by either weighing them or learning proper portioning. So a lot of people overeat fats because they contain nine calories per gram. Um, so 15 grams of peanut butter contains 100 calories um, and 15 grams is not a whole lot. I used to way overeat my fats by loading up on peanut butter. So it's not that you have to cut it out of your diet, it's just that you have to be a little bit more um, conscious of the portioning for it. Next, it, these are unsalted mixed nuts. So a really great source of your healthy fats. 
And once again, nuts are very calorically dense. If you're the kind of person that eats like handfuls and handfuls of trail mix or nuts, um, you might want to just look at the calorie consumption on that because 28 grams, which is only a quarter of a cup of these, contains 160 calories and 14 grams of fat. So that's about one serving, but a lot of people, you can eat a lot of nuts and easily blow your fats without even knowing it. There's nothing wrong with healthy fats. Just make sure you measure them. Next, I just have whole avocados, amazing source of healthy fats, as well as they contain lots of really good fiber and other vitamins and minerals that your body needs. Usually when I have an avocado, I'll have half of one. Coconut oil is an amazing source of healthy fats as well. Fats are what keep you feeling full and satiated. Um, fats are also very important. Uh, fats are also very important for joint care. A lot of vitamins are actually fat soluble. So you may be taking vitamins, but if you don't take enough healthy fats in with your diet, your body's not actually absorbing those. So fun fact about fats. Get me really thirsty. Okay, moving on to carbs. Carbs have gotten a huge, huge bad rap. It's Basically, carbs are our body's primary source of energy. I don't think that there's anything wrong with having a healthy balance of carbs in your diet. You have to find what is sustainable and maintainable for you in the long run. For me, I weight train a lot. In order for me to build and maintain muscle, I need a lot of energy, and that comes from carbs. When I am dieting, I do lower my carbo carbohydrate intake, but I will never um, completely eliminate carbs from my diet. What are carbs? Some of my favorite carbs are brown rice. I eat white rice too. The only difference between brown rice and white rice is that brown rice has an outer casing on it and this is where there's a lot of vitamins and minerals and this also makes brown rice slower digesting. So white rice is a very fast digesting carb because there is no outer shell on it. And so what that means is our body process it a lot faster and we may have a bit of an insulin spike when you eat white rice because it's fast digesting carb, it goes right into your bloodstream. I prefer brown rice because I find that it keeps me fuller for longer. If I eat white rice, it's usually around my workouts just because I do want those carbs to go right to my muscles um, and restore my glycogen right away. So I stick to brown rice, but you can also have white rice. There's nothing wrong with that. One of my favorite carb sources as of lately are yams. So yams are a complex carb, so they're also slow digesting. Yams contain a ton of vitamins and minerals for your body. I love peanut butter on yams. You should really do it. Another great source of carbs is oatmeal. You can use steel cut oats. You can use oat flakes. You can use whatever kind of oats you want. Oats are a really great source of um, carbs and they're also very slow digesting, so they're a very voluminous food. You feel fuller for longer, really good sustained energy, and they also are really great for your heart health and help to reduce that bad cholesterol in your body. So, hmm, eat your oatmeal fam. So bread is a carb source. I don't eat a lot of bread in my diet just because I just don't. I like other carb sources more but Chris likes eating bread and there's nothing wrong with that um, a lot of bread now a days as long as you read the ingredients and make sure that it contains like a lot of sprouted grains are really good it can actually contain pretty high amount of protein uh, and really good fiber um, but just always read your ingredients of course this is Silver Hills sprouted power and it's loaded with 16 seeds and grains to fuel active days with a lot of fiber, which is really good too. Cereal! I freaking love cereal. Can I just say that right now? Like I could eat an entire box of cereal in one sitting. But with that being said, cereal is very high in carbs. So three quarters of a cup of this contains um, 110 calories and 23 grams of carbs. And I don't know about you guys, but like three quarters of a cup of cereal is not very much. So Chris likes to use this because he has a lot more carbs to work with than I do being a giant human being. If 
cereal or any kind of food, if you have problems overeating it, the easiest thing to do is just not to buy it and not have it in your house. If you love cereal and you're not willing to cut that out of your diet, you don't have to. You should just be aware of the nutrition of it and practice portion control when you use it. Kodiak um, power cake mix. So I make waffles and pancakes with this and Quattro. Per 53 cups, it's 14 grams of protein and 30 grams of carbs, which is really good. Other sources of carbs are fruit. So bananas and apples do contain carbs, but they're still good for you. There's nothing wrong with them. Lots of vitamins and minerals in bananas and apples. If you're looking for a lower carb fruit option, Eat your berries, so blueberries, got raspberries, and strawberries. Frozen berries are also a great source of carbs, and berries have a ton of antioxidants in them, and they are lower carb than um, bananas or apples or mangoes or stuff like that. Vegetables are really important because they are high volume. They'll help keep you feel feeling fuller for longer. They also contain a ton of vitamins and minerals as well as fiber and everyone needs fiber in their diet um, to keep <laughs> everything flowing all good. So I got some spring mix here. I got some bell peppers. I got some cucumber, some cauliflower and some broccoli. Just for you, Marcus, this broccoli is just for you. Just kidding, I actually freaking love broccoli. The other thing is, don't be afraid to enjoy yourself every once in a while. Don't restrict or deprive yourself because then you are more likely to overeat those foods later on or maybe struggle with uh, binge eating or disordered eating in some sort. Eat good food, eat food that makes you feel good, eat food that gives you a lot of energy. You have to find something that you can see yourself consistently doing long term. Basically what I always say is the best diet is the one that you don't feel like you're on. Just really make sure that you're getting all of your macronutrients, so protein, carbs, and fats through your diet, as well as all of your vitamins and minerals through uh, fruits, vegetables, green, healthy carb sources, everything like that. And um, I think that's about it, guys. That concludes my Costco grocery shop for you guys, as well as a little glimpse into what I eat. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button, if you would hit that subscribe button, and if you would leave me a comment. Um, as well, you can also press the little bell button and it will send you a notification of when I upload new videos. So I got a ton of stuff coming out for you guys soon and I'm more than excited to share my life with you. Keep it and have fun. That's all I gotta say to you.